Located in the center of Shanxi province, Xi'an used to be the ancient capital of China for over 3,000 years. In this series of trip tips, we will visit Xi'an and all its historical sites. In previous episodes, we gave you a comprehensive three-day route within the city. We saw the ancient city walls, the 800-year-old Bell and Drum Towers, and the 1,400-year-old Wild Goose Pagodas. We also paid a visit to the Shanxi History Museum with relics dating back over 3,000 years. So, these are truly ancient things. But the oldest cultural artifact in Shanxi province is located outside of Xi'an. From today onwards, we will introduce to you five travel routes outside of Xi'an. Each route will have its own characteristic. In this episode, I will be taking you to Lantian County on our southeastern line. There, I'm going to pay a little visit to one of the first Chinese people known to modern science. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Hello, and welcome back to Trip Tips. I'm Johnny Brown, and today we're on Qinlian, or Qin Mountain, to pay a visit to Lantian Man, one of the first Homo erectus bodies found in China. Just in front of me is the main exhibition hall, and right behind that is the fossil. The location is called Qin Mountain. We actually mentioned it in the first Trip Tips episode. It divides Shanxi province into two parts, Guangzhou and Xian'an. In 1963, Chinese archaeologists were digging here and happened upon a skull belonging to a woman about the age of 30. She may have been in her 30s when she died, and nowadays she's the oldest known Homo erectus fossil in Northern Asia, and for scientific reasons is known widely as Lantian Man. Close to the Lantian Man fossil site, these stone artifacts were found. And these stone artifacts are very important because not only do they tell us that Lantian Man knew how to make tools and make other things from them, but also fossilized ashes found at the site prove that Lantian Man not only knew how to make fire, but also how to control it. Ashes were found beside the skull, and this was evidence that fire was used to barbecue meat. This was also proof that Lantian Man knew how to hunt. As a primitive hunter-gatherer, Lantian Man mostly collected fruits, but on occasion did hunt animals with advanced weaponry. In the exhibition hall, you'll see stone tools from over one and a half million years ago, including primitive knives, axes, and scraping tools. But perhaps the simplest way to hunt for Lantian Man was to throw stones and use these tools afterwards. With all the evidence of fire and weapons, you can easily imagine Lantian Man bagging a lot of prey. These unearthed animal fossils are very interesting because they obviously tell us that Lantian Man was an accomplished hunter, but they also tell us a lot about the world in which Lantian Man inhabited. And this is very important when rediscovering things in modern day science. Some animal fossils prove that Lantian Man was not even originally from Shanxi province. Now isn't that funny? Well actually, not at all. Because in the surrounding areas, fossils of elephants, pandas, saber-toothed tigers, and even coral were found. Scientific research tells us that all these animals initially came from southern China. This is because back then, Shanxi province was quite an inhospitable place to live with a harsh climate. However, when the climate changed, the animals moved here to feed on the lush vegetation and Lantian Man would have followed looking for food. So when these animals were alive, they would have been the first residents of Shanxi province. After the main exhibition hall, if you walk around to the back, you'll come through this huge door and up these steps. And up here should be where the main fossil site is. As Lantian Man lived and died on this mountain, the museum here was built to commemorate him. Once more, if you plan to visit some really interesting places in and around Shanxi, be prepared for a lot of climbing. What do they say about all good things come to those who wait? Well, I guess here, the most valuable things are worth great efforts to see. So this is where Lantian Man's remains were initially found, although they're not here anymore. They're at the Shanxi History Museum. So they built this pavilion, this bust of him, and this stone inscription in memory of him. Entry tickets here cost 20 RMB per person, and the museum is open between 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. in the summer, and 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. in winter. The southeast route actually takes two days. After Lantian Man, if you go southeast, you will arrive at Shui Luan. People say it is the second largest grotto in China. You can stay in the small city of Shangluo, 
and the next day visit Danfeng Flower Temple, famous for its ancient architecture. Okay, so this is the southeast route of Xi'an. In the next episode, we will start our west route tour. On it, we shall encounter a tragic love story involving one of the four great beauties in Chinese history. Until then, this is Trip Tips for BON. Thanks for watching.